Hello everyone, welcome to episode 1 of the Overland Trailer Build. Uh, we got into overlanding about a year ago when I purchased a Toyota FJ Cruiser and a rooftop tent. Uh, we since have upgraded that tent and purchased another one which is the Smitty Built XL with an awning. I freaking love that tent. It is incredible and it's huge. I'll have to show you guys that later. Um, we were looking at uh, purchasing or building some sort of trailer. We were looking at uh, a military trailer for the base platform. The reason we wanted to go with a military style trailer is because we just thought it would be you know, much more rugged. Uh, after spending a couple years in the Marine Corps, uh, I know that uh, you know things that are built for the military for the most part are, are built uh, fairly well and over engineered. So we, we had a, a general idea of what we wanted to do with this trailer. We wanted to make sure it had enough space for belongings, have enough space for the rooftop tent and also for water and fuel. And I started looking around on Facebook Marketplace and I found uh, this amazing trailer. I was so happy to find this trailer uh, probably about 10 miles away from where we live and it ended up costing me $600 I fell in love immediately when I saw it. I said, this is what we are going to use to build our Overland trailer. I, it just looked like it needed a little bit of work, uh, you know, a little bit of love, uh, maybe, you know, bust some rust and, and obviously a, a new paint job and uh, potentially new tires and, and, you know, maybe a new axle. Uh, but for the most part, this was exactly what we were looking for and uh like i said i mean i, I was very very excited to get started uh, hold up hold up uh once we started getting into this trailer we realized that it was going to be a lot more work than we initially anticipated we were going to have to sandblast the entire thing also probably rhino line the entire thing because of the amount of rust that was on it and we were going to have to swap out the entire axle and get uh, different types of tires so we came up uh, with a completely different game plan and this is what we decided to do my friends matt and andrew from little river metalworks in goldsboro north carolina came up with this idea uh, they found a uh, a service body that used to be part of the tom warner cable fleet and just said let's just build our own trailer and you know, build everything from scratch underneath and then just use this and, and repaint it. it. It has a lot, a lot of potential and I'm super excited about this route. Yeah, this trailer has got incredible potential. Uh, so many different things that, that we were thinking about doing, uh, you know, when it comes to storage and kitchen and, and all that stuff. This right here uh, is the mock-up that uh, Matt made that was the exploded view kind of showing you how the trailer is actually uh, set up and how they plan on welding everything together um, you know we we are going to have a lock and roll system for the hitch and i'll show that to you a little bit later i just wanted to you know rotate it a little bit and just show you how uh you know how we plan on, on setting this up on the top uh, you see the the tent and this is all at the scale and it's assembly time Super happy about this phase because we took a long time planning all this stuff out But now we're actually starting to build it and I'm super pumped to share that with you guys
sure you click subscribe, follow us, and click the notification button so you know when new content is posted.